heavy, isn't she? Yeah. Enough gecko right. stuff. Gecko, 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 gecko. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. I have Casper here, the black eyed leucistic reticulated python, and he has a fresh shed and he looks absolutely wonderful. I mean, just look at this snake. I absolutely love it. Oh, this weekend we actually have a costume party, so we're really excited at the Reptarium. Should be absolutely amazing, whatever is going to happen there. We just have a lot of stuff. I have a family coming in from Houston, Texas today. Very excited to hang out with them. Uh, but I wanted to share with you guys how beautiful Casper to start this amazing day. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to a concert, I guess, later tonight. Regardless, busy day, but it's gonna be awesome. So we have a big date night tonight, huh, Lori? Who are we going to see? Luke Bryant, Sam Hunt. What, what kind of music do they play? Country. Country? What? You're taking me to a country concert? Yes, I am. Oh my Yeehaw. God. <laughs> I literally have, have I ever heard these? I've never, I don't think I've ever heard a song. Yes, I, have, I, I guarantee you, you've heard some of their songs, you just don't know who they are. Okay, so apparently, Lori and myself, and the one thing that's kind of crazy is, uh, we're open tonight at the Reptarium, so we're probably gonna be there at the very open, and then we're gonna let the crew handle it. I'm a little bummed that I'm not gonna be there. I know the crew is gonna do a great job, but I like being at the Reptarium, but we're gonna have some fun. Oh, and by the way, I do have to mention that SeatGeek actually is the one that's hooking us up with this, so thank you very much, SeatGeek. If you guys don't know about SeatGeek, it's basically an app that you can go on and you can buy tickets to anything, sporting events, music events, whatever entertainment you want. As a matter of fact, they're so cool, they hooked us up with these tickets. They're also allowing us to actually give you guys a promo, so if you go on the app and go to the Me tab, you can actually enter bar check and you get $20 off your first purchase, so that's pretty that's awesome. awesome. I think I'm gonna buy some more tickets. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's not to, to country concerts, I'm okay with that. But uh, we're going to have a good time tonight. Thank you, SeatGeek. Again, go to SeatGeek, go to the app, hit me, bar check, $20 off your whatever you're going to. So anyways, we're going to have a good time with SeatGeek. Uh, I'm looking forward to this country concert, kind of. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so my Texas family is in the house. So you guys came all the way from Houston. Yes. yes. Oh my gosh. And your name? Justine. Sam Senior. Sam. Sam Jr. All right, we are going to have some fun with these guys. They're with us the whole weekend, right? You guys are going to hang out a little bit. Yes, sir. So it's going to be yes, awesome. We're going to have a really good time. Any requests of what you want to see? You said something big snake wise, right? Okay, so I tell you what we're going to do. Later on, we'll take Daisy out and we'll play with Daisy with you. Does that sound cool? Yeah. So Sam has a rule, nothing that gets over 10 foot, but you want you want an anaconda? Yay! <laughs> I think that you should be able, they don't get over 10, do they get over 10 foot? Just, they don't get over 10 foot, do they? They're a little uh, over 10 meters. Yeah. <laughs> are we talking feet or meters? Yeah, what are we talking about? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. People's reaction to scale is the first time are always interesting, right? It's totally different than anything you probably have ever held, right? Yeah. It needs lotion, I guess. I don't know, what do you do with this? <laughs> So by now you guys know I get excited about everything. I get excited when I get animals. I get excited when all kinds of stuff, but I am excited because I got these here. These are shop packs for the Reptarium. I know you're probably like, why would you get excited about it? But I really am because now I can have a wet one that we can do all the water bowls. I can have a dry one that we can use for, you know, whatever other maintenance we have. Because right now we just switch back and forth. Now I will say in all disclosure that I reached out to DeWalt. They originally said they were going to send me these guys for free and then they stopped returning my emails. <laughs> so after a couple couple weeks of reaching out to them like hey you gonna send me those I just decided to buy it because you know we really needed them and I couldn't wait any longer so here are the beasties look at this it's a stainless steel looks awesome it can hold I think like 10 gallons which is more than enough than we need so I think these are gonna be amazing and I think that Andrea and Bruce are gonna really enjoy them let's go talk to Andrea oh right up here Andrea I got you a gift wow <laughs> I very actually, nice I know don't say I never got you anything no it's the top quality <laughs> <laughs> no, so I have two of these, one for wet and one for dry, so you could go. Better than the other ones for sure. Did they get to see the, the last one? Oh, no, one? no, no, I'm embarrassed. I won't, I won't show them the, the, the old one. <laughs> it was really embarrassing. You're just playing around in Casper's cage? Yeah. Cleaning up, he shut out, so okay. we're hanging out. Yeah, he looks good, doesn't he? He looks great. Oh my God, that's awesome. So there you go, shop back. We're ending the tour kind of on the big side with Daisy here. Uh, the first thing you said when you came in, I want to see big snakes, so we're certainly going to take Daisy out. I mean, how does she feel? Heavy. She's heavy, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, she's a lot heavier than people give her credit for. She's a big snake. And again, it's just, it's incredible for me to be able to spend time with people that, you know, are as equally as passionate as I am about reptiles. It's so cool they came all the way up from Texas to visit with us. So looking forward to spending more time when we're open, as well as a little time tomorrow with them too. It's gonna be awesome. But as for now, we gotta get ready to open the Reptarium. And Lori and myself are only gonna be here for a short while. And then we're off to a concert. Thank you, SeatGeek. Guys, thank you so much. Seriously, you guys are awesome. Thank you for coming. It's awesome. Thanks, man. I'll see you guys soon. You stop back tonight, right? Yes, sir. Okay, we'll see you tonight. Thanks, guys. Perfect. I wanted to talk to you two together. Why? Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was actually offered a group of crested geckos. Do we want to work with crested geckos? What kind of crested geckos? They're supposedly really nice, like high-end stuff. They're like European and Canadian blood. Supposedly really nice. There's uh, 80 adults. No. 66 God. adults. No. 66 females. No. And 12 males. Are you no. are you planning on getting rid of some of the leopards? Like, <laughs> because well, so, I don't have time for that. You know, we don't really need those because you know why? We've got Eric and Mary producing the killer crested geckos for saying, us. That would be that would be a, like a turnkey startup. We could be producing. How many do they produce? Oh, they produce a lot. Like they produce a lot. that's, so that's six, way too much. We could produce like probably a couple thousand. No, you, is, you'd be doing like what person? we are with leopards. Who's Let's person? Who's this person who came to you with this? Why? You're it wasn't through me. <laughs> <laughs> I am not on board. Right, Do so not ship those. I swear to God. <laughs> okay, so we're in agreement. I should go ahead and get them then. Do you want to die today? Because no. We what? are not in agreement. Even no. Jessica is like, no. Only no. if you're trading them no. for leopard geckos because I don't no. have time for that. That's too much. We don't okay. need that much. Who so, would take what, care so, what you're of them? saying is that I just have to get rid of some leopard geckos and I have to find A more lot. time. And then, and then Why don't we're you good. try to find them more time first? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Work on that first. All right. First. So good job. All right. Thanks, guys. I appreciate your your cooperation. And we're, we're talking. Together. We're talking about maybe more. getting some other. You are raising up gargoyles. You're talking about getting new cheese. Like we don't need. Yeah, I like crested. Like I think they'd be nice to have a group of them. You yeah. lied. Yeah. You just said like a few weeks ago you didn't want exactly. any. Exactly. That's because I didn't want to have a small group. I no. want a big group. No. Don't do it. Is it through email that they contacted you? Oh, it's a friend of mine. <laughs> what friend? <laughs> like I don't have friends. We're with that's you no that's friend enough, though, because <laughs> nowhere. That's what I'm saying. We got we could the crested gecko room it. next door. No, the whole have, room. The whole room. We've already got that whole basement already. You know notched out for and speaking of geckos we have some amazing geckos still i mean we literally have a couple thousand amazing geckos to be honest with you this happens to be a bold stripe bell white and yellow oh my gosh is that thing crazy oh absolutely cute is that this is one of those hypo snows that we've hatched a couple of that just look incredible they have super cool patterns and as they get bigger they're even cooler and then take a look at this thing here oh my gosh i absolutely love this this is actually a snow raptor oh my gosh this thing is so cool as it gets bigger it might not be quite as cool as it is as a baby because some of that patterning is probably going to fade but right now that thing is smoking hot you know this isn't like some really super rare animal by any sense but i just love them this is actually a tremper albino murphy's patternless so both of those are recessive traits and put together they're just really cool and there's just something about them when you mix those two animals they just get so gorgeous and then this little bugger here blows me away Way. Oh my gosh. We actually produced a handful of these. These are actually super snow eclipse animals and they just come out super pied looking. I mean, the thing is crazy looking. Look at that. This is close to a pied leopard gecko. I think that you can get, I mean, wow, that thing is crazy. And again, we produced a handful of these guys. So anyways, that's a little update on some of the beautiful geckos. And uh, by the way, when I say beautiful geckos, this whole aisle there is full of this type of gecko. I mean, we have a lot of great ones on the website. Okay, I know you guys are probably by now saying, all right, Brian, enough gecko stuff. Gecko, 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 gecko. Well, I did want to share with this, these are the last three female leopard geckos that we are hatching for the year. That's it, no more female eggs left. Right there, three little cute little monkeys there. And we actually have a couple incubated for males that are still due to hatch, and then we are done with eggs. So it's crazy, we had thousands and thousands of eggs, and these are the last three females. And the crazy thing is is leopard geckos are going into hibernation and we're going to be breeding them again in just another couple months and just like with the 
leopard geckos. The colubrids are about to go into hibernation as well. I had mentioned that Eric and Mary are actually on their honeymoon, so he's not taking care of the adult colubrids, which worked out perfect because we had the last meal just before he left. So now they are off of food. They'll clean out for the next probably three weeks or so because what you want to have happen is when they go into hibernation, their system basically shuts down so they won't digest. So if they have any matter left, you know, rodents or whatever the case is, it can actually kill them because it'll rot in their gut. So you want to clean them out for about three weeks at normal temperature. And then for a few days, you want to bring the temperature down a little bit and then ultimately put them into, you know, 55 degrees or so Fahrenheit. And they'll stay that way for about three months before we bring them back up. The leopard geckos stay a little bit higher and they only hibernate typically for about two months. But regardless, colubrids are about to go down. And this Mexican black king snake is absolutely gorgeous. Speaking of which, I think we still have a handful of babies that haven't been on the site yet. So bug Lori, tell her to put them on the site if you guys are interested. We're about 15 minutes away from opening up the Reptarium and you know, this is our seventh weekend. And I'm gonna be honest with you, still every time we open, I think like maybe no one's gonna show up. I know it's weird, but I still get nervous about it. With that said, Friday nights, which is what tonight is for us, I realize it's later for you guys, is actually one of our slowest days. So I don't expect it to be packed in here. And of course, Laura and I are gonna be at the concert, so hopefully everyone holds the fort down. I'll leave my camera with Noah so he can document a few things while we're gone. So uh, let's go ahead, get our last minute things, and open up the Reptarium. Dude, you're doing good. Is it heavy? <laughs> He's awesome, man. You're so awesome. As much as I hate to leave because uh, it looks like it's going to be a really fun night here at the Reptarium, uh, Lori and myself are off to the concert. I'm actually going to leave the camera with Noah. Noah is going to document whatever is going on tonight, and uh, I will see you guys at the concert, I guess. All right, so we're at the concert. We got four tickets. There's the day. Lori's happy. That makes me happy. We're at the Reptarium here, and uh, got some people here holding snazz. What do you guys think of them? You love them? Oh, he is very friendly. <laughs> he is, he is very friendly. He's saying hi to his neighbor up north. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Our boy Casper chilling in the back. It's pretty beautiful though, huh? Oh my god. He's definitely had a firm grip on my leg for a while here, but he worked his way down. I think yeah, he's starting to let go. You're, hey, you're alive. That's all that matters. So, right. Um, you guys are taking this home, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just throwing it in the trunk real quick. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's so big, you literally have to throw it in the trunk. Well, right. there you go. There you go. Things are going great here at the Reptarium. Everyone loves everything. That's how it's supposed to be. Just leaving the concert, and I'm gonna be honest with you, I like Sam Hunt. I really, I thought he was pretty good, yeah, but I, I don't understand why Luke Bryan is like the big deal in country. <laughs> no. I know I'm offending a bunch of people now, but I think he was like, I'm not a big country guy. You but. don't get it because you're not a woman. Like, all the women just go crazy over it. Really? Yeah, I mean, it, it's not my thing, but yeah, Jade informed me. And as wow. you can see from the concert, he gets the girl. Oh, whatever. <laughs> and there's a lot of flannel in that place. <laughs> of course, it's a country concert. Okay, so we're heading home now. So back arm. You know, I'm not a big country music fan per se, but I am a fan of going out and having a good time with Lori. So we absolutely had a great night. And honestly, it really wasn't that bad. I had a really good time. And again, thank you to SeatGeek for hooking us up. Again, you can go in the link in the description. You can get $20 off with the coupon code BARCHECK. So go ahead and support SeatGeek because they supported us. And save yourself a few bucks if you're buying a ticket anyways. You might as well save yourself. And with that said, I am going to go ahead and end the vlog and wish you guys an absolutely amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. As always, your support means the world to me. And truly, 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 I love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on. Leave a comment down below because I really do like reading about you guys. Be kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.